Hello? Are we on? Do we? Uh, yeah, we're going to middle. I'm the host. Get out of here. Jeez, are you put on weight? Yo! Annyeonghaseyo! It's currently 9 o'clock in the morning, so pardon Greg's sleepy face and hair. We are going to do a, um, a language difference episode. We're going to do a couple different things. The first one we're going to do, you have to try each other's accents, and then the person from that country will judge who's the best out of the two. Ah. No! <laughs> we'll start with British then. You have to give a sentence that will be natural in your country, and then they have to try and copy the sentence. So, my sentence is, I went to the shops and I bought two bottles of water and a can of Coke. <laughs> Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I went to the shop, I bought two bottles of water and a can of Coke. <laughs> That's not bad! Yeah, that was That's actually not bad. I, uh, I, I messed up bottle. Bottle. That wasn't bad. How did you, how did you do that? I lived in England for a year. Alright, go on, Grace. This should be good. <laughs> I went to the shop, I bought two bottles of water. <laughs> And a can of cake. <laughs> He's not from Manchester. <laughs> I know, I lost it. I'm sorry. It's not. It wasn't that bad, but Cynthia's was better. Yeah, you gotta give it to Cynthia that one. Go, okay, Cynthia. Should we do American next? Oh yeah, let's do American. Okay, you gotta give us. You gotta give us one. Can you pass me the butter and a napkin, please? I'll go first. I'm confident <laughs> on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pass? <laughs> <laughs> you just reverted that game. Can you pass? pass? Can you pass? Uh, can you pass me the butter and a napkin, please? <laughs> that was good, I feel like. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. If I lose to that, I'll be so impressed. <laughs> can you pass me the butter? <laughs> You have to relax. Can you pass me the butter and a napkin, please? Better. Oh, doesn't sound like do, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Can you pass me the butter and a napkin, please? Greg. Oh, no! Much better than it. Sorry. Irish accent. I'll give you a typically Irish expression. What's the crack with your one over there? What's the crack with your one over there? You have to say it fast. What's the crack with your one over there? <laughs> You've got to avoid your, your instincts to just completely exaggerate. What's the crack with your one over there? What's the crack with your one over there? Anytime. You don't need to do Cynthia. I'm going to beat Cynthia. She can't beat me here. What's the crack with your one over there? What? That's terrible! Mine's coming, my bed. Wait, 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 one more time, one more time. What's the crack with your one over there? That's slightly better. Is that alright, yeah? Um, Cynthia. What? <laughs> Boss. What's the crack with your one over there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next one. This one's a fun one. One weird thing that each other's countries pronounce weirdly, in our opinion. You guys say oregano, right? Yeah, we say oregano. 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 Uh, what? Oregano. Oregano is just kind of more... What? Sing song oregano. 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 Doesn't even make oregano sense. Oregano is kind of... Uh, I, got one, I got one that English people say weird. Yeah, go on. Yogurt. Uh, we say yogurt. Ah, yeah, yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, I hate that. That's weird. Yeah, I hate that. It's so funny because you say yogurt, and to us that sounds like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but Irish people say it too. Irish, two. Irish people say yogurt. Yeah. yeah two against yeah. one. We went yogurt. One thing Americans say really um, weird for me. Herb. Why do yeah. you guys drop the H? That's it so was, weird for me. It was yeah. really, really drilled into us that like you cannot pronounce the H, otherwise you're like degenerate. <laughs> It's like Americans just become French all of a sudden. Yeah. Herb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Herb. Well, maybe it's a French word. Maybe that's why. Okay. Now, what finally, we have some words that I'm going to say, and then you've got to say what that word is in your country. Okay. Okay. Jumper. Sweater. Gansey. What? Gansey? Yeah. Do you actually say Gansey? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. What? Bird. Ah. Uh, <laughs> like, chirp, chirp. Yeah. Bird. Female. Female. <laughs> Obviously, it does mean bird, like the flying bird. Also, the other meaning that is very common is girl, yeah. woman. You call your your girlfriend or your wife your bird. Where's your bird? Yeah. How's your bird? It's funny when you think about it. Actually, yeah. That's Usually, a, a female 
of a similar age to. Yeah. You would call it a bird. Mm. Yeah. You, you wouldn't call your mum a bird. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> That'd be weird. A dummy. A dumb person? Or like a mannequin. Like a, a mannequin. You'd use it for like car test driving. They have no other meaning. Sue there? Also? Suva? That thing you put in your mouth and your behavior. Yeah, yeah. It's a dummy, right? like dummy. Yeah. That, yeah. In England, that'd be the first thing you uh, think about. Right. Dummy. Pacifier. 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 That's called a pacifier. Yeah. Pacifier. Sounds like a church word. I'm going to pacify you. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Pacify. <laughs> oh my god, in high school, it was a fad to carry around a dummy. Oh, okay. there was in England too. Really? There was, yeah, there was a time. Yeah. Yeah. reached England too. Like, the, people would that just suck on it in school for no yeah. reason. And you get these flavoured ones in shops as well. You can buy Yeah, I've seen that. Lift. That. Elevator. Elevator. Yeah. You, you never say, let's get the lift. No. Really? Yeah. I always say the lift. The lift, yeah. Flannel. Mm, it's a pattern. Kind of like this. I Here. thought it was a shirt. Yeah? Flannel in England is like a, it's a small towel. Yeah. I've never heard that. What? Yeah. A flannel. I, the first time I heard it, I was like, this one? <laughs> that's, that's bad. Okay, so today we looked at some differences between British English, Irish English, American English. If you guys like this episode, leave a like. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Send it to your friends. Send it to your mum. Send it to your mum's friends. And yeah. that will do for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. These guys, right? They are going to Australia tomorrow. But well, we will see you again in the future. Sometime. In the international version of a mail tube. Yes. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace.